Hi, I'm Joan Devine, Director of Education with Pioneer Network. And I'm Margie McLaughlin, Pioneer Board Member and Chairperson for the Education Committee. Boy, Margie, 2020 has been quite a year. Um, yes, and it, it, isn't it though? It's really required the team at Pioneer Network to think out of the box as we brought you education and resources, which is what we do. Then, like so many others, we had to cancel our annual conference, and instead we ventured into the world of virtual conferencing, bringing you a three-day event envisioning the future, 2020 and beyond. I think someplace where we learned as much as you did. <laughs> we made some modifications to our webinars, including offering them at reduced rates and often even free of charge. And we collected and shared free resources to support engagement in the times of isolation. Though we look to better times in 2021, we know that we can't go back to the same old, same old ways of doing things. That's for sure. For one thing, as we try to provide training on hot topics, planning a year out just seems crazy. I don't know about you, Margie, but I'm not sure about what the hot topic is gonna to be a year from now, or even three months or six months or even tomorrow. I agree, Joan. And so what Joan and I would like to share with you is this framework work of the uh, Pioneer Network 2021 Education Plan, which with details to be filled in as 2021 progresses, let's start with something familiar, the Hot Topic webinar series. Absolutely. We are going to continue both the Growing Person Centeredness and the Share the Vision series. These are 60 minutes in length and presented by experts and thought leaders in our field. The Growing Person Centeredness series is designed to provide the latest information on innovative ideas that support best practices in resident directed care, while the Share the Vision series is designed to, well, inspire you to share the vision. Both will be offered four times in 2021. While Share the Vision webinars will be free of charge, the Growing Person Centeredness webinars will be available for $59 and will include the recording for up to a year. We encourage you to join as a team, incorporating our webinars into your educational program. And while there won't be any special bundle pricing this year, we will be offering special pricing opportunities for those who participate in multiple webinars. Check the website to learn more about the first webinar in each series, working together to find our way to yes on January 21st, and the Artifacts of Culture Change 2.0, it's here on February 18th. Well, webinars are great, and Pioneer Network is always fortunate to be able to identify hot topics and provide top-notch speakers. But uh, Joan, what else is planned? Anything new? Well, I'm glad you asked. We've been listening to you and two things we heard is that you'd like to see Pioneer Network host podcasts, something maybe you could listen to during your commute or perhaps during your daily run or walk. And I think we all long for more interaction, especially during these times when in-person just isn't a possibility. Our answer to these needs, a new educational program starting this month that incorporates both called Listening, Learn, Explore. The first program will be based on a conversation with Dr. Stefan Gravenstein, Director of Geriatrics and Palliative Medicine at the Warren Alpert Medical School at Brown University. Dr. Gravenstein has been actively involved in working with regulators, providers, the VA, and he sat on a number of government task force throughout the pandemic. So starting with Listen and Learn, Dr. Gravenstein, known for his creative and forward thinking ideas, will share his thoughts during a short podcast, providing the latest information on what's happening related to COVID-19 and discussing how, as we face the challenges of man managing this pandemic, that we don't lose sight of the role that person-directed care plays in this work that we do. This podcast will be available to all of you through the Pioneers Network social media pages, our website, and popular podcast outlets. In the next part of the program, though, and this is where it's really cool, we'll continue to learn, but even better, we'll move on to explore. As attendees can register to join us for our very own virtual variation of a learning circle. There, participants will have the opportunity not only to learn from Dr. Gravenstein, but from each other as we further explore the role of person-directed care as we manage the pandemic. Margie, that sounds so exciting. And I got to meet Dr. Gravenstein virtually this morning and boy, we are in for a treat. But there's even more. 
Uh, we'll also be continuing to join the conversation events that we started in 2020 and are excited about a fun new way to learn from an expert on dementia, our good friend Brian LeBlanc, who is living with dementia and will be sharing messages via social media in posts we're calling from Brian's brain. <laughs> Of course, the educational offering that Pioneer Network is best known for is our annual conference. And sadly, we don't see that this will be a reality in 2021. So much to do and so few resources. And so we're once again looking at the opportunities of using a virtual platform. Yep. We sure are. And the plan this time is to host quarterly symposiums, starting with our first on Wednesday, March 24th. The symposiums will be hosted on Zoom and feature four webinar style sessions, followed by an interactive meeting session where attendees will have an opportunity to share and explore the topics further with the session speakers. Continuing the learning started from last September, the March event is entitled Envisioning the Future, Exploring Lessons Learned. The sessions will focus on the impact and lessons learned from the pandemic related to resident directed care practices, quality of life, the roles and work of the care team, including those closest to the resident and management. Will there be more? Absolutely. Pioneer Network is committed with our partners to find more new and innovative ways to support your education and training needs. There'll be updates to our website resources, new white papers, and who knows what else. And we'll once again be working better together with the Eden Alternative team. It won't be webinars this year, Instead, it will have a whole new look in 2021. So stay tuned for more information on that. And oh, one more thing, Margie, I wanna share with you. We're busy updating our website and we'll be bringing you an all new resource section, which will include the tools you've come to rely on plus new ones. It will also include a section of webinar recordings from the 2020 virtual gathering offered in a package we're calling Design Your Training. You'll be able to put together and purchase packages designed to meet your training needs. Pick two, pick three, pick six, or something in between. <laughs> that sounds great, Joan. You know, while the future in 2021 continues to provide challenges, we're confident that together we can meet them. Education and training are the foundation to growing a person-directed culture. And there has never been a time when we needed to grow the movement and transform the culture of aging care and support more than today. Absolutely. And Margie, on, on behalf of the staff and the board and, and everyone, the education committee, we at Pioneer Network are so looking forward to the journey. And we really hope that you will join us here in 2021. I'll be there.